see the village of Highbury, sir. Over the bridge, left of the crown, you see the steeple. Thank you. Very much obliged. Son, Mr. Frank Churchill. Miss Emma Woodhouse. That's Woodhouse. He, uh, he's caught us quite by surprise. Indeed, he has. There were not many houses in which I would presume on so far, sir, but in coming home, I felt I might take the liberty. <laughs> we, uh, we had a plan to walk to the village, Emma. Will you join us? I would be delighted. Splendid. I believe we have a mutual acquaintance in Jane Fairfax. Did you meet often at Weymouth? Pray, let's go in here. That I may prove myself to be a true citizen of Highbury, I must buy something at Forbes. And I beg your pardon, Miss Woodhouse, you were speaking to me. I merely asked whether you had known much of Miss Fairfax and her party at Weymouth. And now that I understand the question, I must pronounce it to be a very unfair one. It is always the lady's right to decide on the degree of acquaintance. You answer as discreetly as she would herself, though her account leaves so much to be guessed. But I really think you may say what you like for your acquaintance with her. I only know what is generally known, that she is poor and of no consequence. Here's where you have your balls, I suppose. Every fortnight through the winter. I'm afraid Highbury may yet disappoint you, Mr. Churchill. We have not society enough for dancing. Ah, but an inn of this size must have a ball. And where there is a ballroom, there can be a ball. We cannot do without dancing. Instances have been known of young people passing many, many months successfully without any ball of any description and no injury either to body or to mind but when and the felicities of rapid motion have been felt must be a very heavy heart that does not ask for more it is very dirty inside oh my dear, my dear you are too particular by candlelight it'll be as clean as randall's <laughs> you must have a ball yes and when we do, may I hope for the honour of your hand for the first two dances? <laughs> the Coles are to hold a supper party in Frank's honour, and perhaps they'll be dancing there. So, Emma Woodhouse deigned to accept an invitation from the merchant Mr Cole. Mr Churchill will soon return to Yorkshire. We must make the most of every opportunity until he does. We must. He's in Highbury only two weeks. And yet he spent a whole day going to London just to get his hair cut. Sixteen miles, twice over. He's a trifling, silly fop. Mr. Cole. Such grand estates you have in common, gentlemen. Donwell Abbey, Enscombe, soon to inherit, of course. Soon to inherit Enscombe, not too soon. I trust your uncle, Churchill, is in good health? Uh, excellent health. Oh, 
qui felici tu sono belli oh sì tu lo hai delizioso tu lo sono qui the choicest piece of gossip that has set all the tongues of the village aflame. A pianoforte, very elegant, delivered to Miss Fairfax this very morning with no return address. I never saw so fine an instrument. A pianoforte, very elegant. And with no return address. No <laughs> return address. Jane herself is quite at a loss, quite bewildered to think who could have sent it. Bewildered indeed. Why do you smile? Nay, why do you? I suppose I smile for pleasure. Pianoforte is a very handsome present. I rather wonder it was never made before. And perhaps Miss Fairfax has never been staying here so long before. Or that Colonel Campbell did not give her use of his own instrument, which must now be shut up in London untouched by anybody. Huh. She has done her hair in so odd a way I never saw anything like it. <laughs> Must be a fancy of her own. I see nobody else looking like her. <laughs> Colonel Campbell is not the giver. Who can be? Mrs. Dixon? As a token of her... her friendship, perhaps? What say you to Mr. Dixon? Mr. Dixon? He saved her life. Did you hear of it? A water party and by some accident she was falling overboard. He caught her. Oh. Huh. Ladies and gentlemen, a duet. What do you say to this, Emma? I have made a match between Mr. Knightley and Jane Fairfax. Mr. Knightley and Jane Fairfax? This pianoforte has been sent to her by somebody. She has always been a favorite with him. Tonight, he sent his carriage for her as a courtesy and walked himself. Was that not gallant? <laughs> 